pattern fills or hatches as they're commonly referred to are these line drawings on the inside of a shape. In construction detailing we use these to tell people what the material we're using is and there are some standards but uh, not everything is standard. So to put them on is pretty straightforward. What we need to do is select an object. We can come over to the shape and style dialog box and we can come to the pattern button. When I click on this, it will become blue and that should turn on a pattern fill for us. What we could also do is come over to the pattern fill default tray and we could drag in one of the fills and drop it onto a shape that's ready to accept a fill. To turn the fill off now, we can select one of the objects, we can come back up to the shape and style tray and click on the pattern toggle button again, it'll go back to being grey and it'll turn it off. We may also want to change how it's visualised, so let's have a look at this uh, soil fill down the bottom here. What we may want to do is rotate that. So often we show uh, soil fills on either 45 degrees or at 0 slash 90 degrees and we'll have a different meaning for each. So one might mean that the soil's been disturbed and one might mean that it's undisturbed or compacted. So we can change that very easily by selecting and changing the angle here. What we also can do is change the scale factor for this as well. So we can come over to scale, we can select it and make it larger or smaller. Remember with most of these for things like line weights and strokes and that, you can also change the number here to something that's not in the list. I could type in four, which was not in the list. Now my recommendation for you is whenever you're putting in a a pattern fill, you should put it in at a size that allows it time to repeat. So if I had this larger, you can't really tell what the pattern is here because it doesn't repeat. So if you pop that in a legend, it would not make a lot of sense. And what I would also do is zoom out to 100% and have a look at this. So this is roughly what it's going to print out like. So you might want to play with the scale from here until it's something like what you think would be sensible to see at that size. To choose different pattern fills, come over to your pattern fill tray and hit the drop down button at the top. And from within here you'll find different types of pattern fills that are made in by default within the program. you might find something that you want. If you don't, you are able to make your own pattern fills as well using SketchUp and we might cover that in another video. If you're looking for a pattern fill that's already been used within your project, you can come over to the Home button and this will show the ones that are already currently being used. And if you have an object that uh, you want to paste out the same pattern fill to another object, you can hit this style button, click once on the pattern that you want to select and then come over to another object, it changes to a bucket and you can click here and it will paste that out for you. Hope you enjoyed this video.